Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to connect LCD display with the Nucleo board. I have my name printed with the number is counting below. Let's build this one. The display comes with and without I2C module. This one has I2C module. This one doesn't have. I'm going to do this one in the future. I'll put the video in somewhere here. Today we're going to do this one. We're going to connect these pins direct to the STM32. This is the pin label. For example, this pin is PB8. The second one is PB9 like this. These are the label we are going to use. For the wiring diagram, it is like this. The second pin from here, it's going to 3.3 volt. Second pin from here, going to 5 volt. These pins, it goes straight like this. You don't need to use only this pin. We can use any pin you like. For simplicity, I use like this. E is connected here. R is connected here. And the first pin from here, and this one, and this one, and the first pin from here connected to ground, like this. The wiring connection is very simple. LCD display wires are here. And for the nuclear board, it's like this. And the other side, it's like this. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. In the part number, put F446RE. And click this one. And click this one. That's the Nucleo 446RE. And click this one also. And we'll get the board. And click next. Now put a name here. I put LCD and finish. And uh, initiate uh, all peripherals with the default mode. That's okay. I click yes. We can click this button to zoom it, to make it bigger. Now we make this one pin PA6 GPIO output PA7 GPIO output PC7 GPIO output and these three pins PB4 output PB5 output the last one pb6 output that's all the setting we can click save to generate the code in the description below of this website i have provided the code we can copy and paste to save time when we go there this one When we go below, the diagram is here, the pictures are here, the cube ID setting is here, we've already done just now. Now we have to put two files in the library. There are two files, one in inside core INC folder, other one core SRC folder. So lcd.h, click this one, that's lcd.h, this file name, we copy from here until this line. Copy it and we go to cube IDE. That core is here. Expand this one. INC folder and right click here and click new file. The file name here put lcd.h and click finish. And we paste it here. And we need to do one change. In this line, line number 11, we change this to F4. And we can click save and click close. Next file, we go there, the website. 
go back and lcd.c click this one and copy from here until here copy it and go to cube ide now it's in src folder right click right click here and new file file name is lcd.c and finish now here we can paste it and now click save click close now in the main.c file I have provided the code we go back here user code begin includes we need to put this line copy it and we paste it here user code begin includes and then we go there user code begin to we copy from here until user code end to copy it go below user code begin to just pass we go up and that's here we paste it now the ports if you didn't change if you put, use the same pin as I used you can leave it as it is and we can click save if you change the pin you need to change like this this pin from from here to here in that order you need to put these four ports and these four pins and also the reset and enable is here those two pin you need to change it here if you change it if you don't change it you don't need to do anything you just leave it as it is that's all we can click save and use the green button to upload the code now when this one comes you can click ok now the, the thing is it's uploading I show you something this is how you print the string this is how you print integer I from 1 to 200 is keep printing every one second one number all, all done shutting down all good I have uploaded the code yeah, it's working when I hold this side it's clear when I bring the other direction it's not clear so for that we can include a potentiometer to adjust the brightness clear and for the durability I'm going to connect resistor and potentiometer the these wires are same as before now we're going to put a resistor here 100 ohm and then we're going to connect this pin and this pin and the last pin here to ground only three pin this pin we are not going to connect to the ground that one we are going to connect to the middle pin of the potentiometer one side of the potentiometer connected to ground other side connected to 3.3 volt you can use this potentiometer or this one whichever one you like you need to rotate this one to get the desired brightness i have added the potentiometer now it's clear all the direction i can turn any direction it's clear now the wiring this side is same and also this side of the nuclear board is same and here I put the potentiometer here and I did the wiring like this thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below I try to answer as much as I can Thank you. Bye.